Hi, welcome to Series English. My name is Antonia Ormaker and today we have quite an unusual class. A lot of my students ask me to help them to get ready for a job interview. This is a very important issue, don't you think? And I've decided to make a couple of videos devoted to this particular problem because actually nowadays a job interview turns into a show with uh, a lot of special effects, if I may put it like this, and you have to work really hard to impress the interviewer. Today, in the first part of such videos, I'm going to give you 10 tips for a successful interview. So we're going to talk about some basics and general things. In the videos to come devoted to this particular problem, we are going to discuss some basic questions and tricky questions which should be answered correctly. And answering correctly is essential for a successful job interview. So that's the plan. Today we're going to talk about 10 tips. So the first tip, it is one of the most important ones, is do your homework. What? So here you're supposed to find some information. You are supposed to demonstrate that you are well aware of the company and what it does and what um, management philosophy it has and corporate policy. So you are well aware of this information and you are interested in this particular company. You should make the interviewer think that this is your only choice and you want to be here, you want to work here. Secondly, as a part of your homework, you should also bring multiple good copies of your latest resume. And it should be the most relevant one. I mean, you should adapt it for the needs of this particular company. Uh, as for a CV, writing a CV or a resume, I'm going to devote a separate class to this particular problem. But today we are talking about a job interview, so bring copies. And in addition, also have a list of references. It's very important. Some people think that it is just something irrelevant, something not very important, but it is, believe me. The second tip. Remember that a job interview is a two-way street. So you are supposed to be more or less active too. You are supposed to prepare some questions. Questions which might help you understand what responsibilities are included, what exactly they want from you, uh, what exactly this position demands. So it's important. However, you should be ready to say why, to give your reasons, why you want to know the answers to these questions. For example, you might ask what is the possible future growth for you if you do a great job for the company. So prepare a list of questions, be ready to give your reasons. By the way, if it's not stated at the website, you might also ask here about the management philosophy or corporate policy of the company. Number three is very simple. Be prepared to give some examples when you answer different questions. So examples should support your replies and answers. That's important. For example, saying that you are responsible, you might add that uh, whenever you are given a project, you always fulfill it and you meet all the deadlines and so on. Number four, wait to be asked to take a seat before you actually sit down. So you should not be too relaxed, like I'm the boss here. You are not the boss here. The interviewers are the bosses here. They are alpha dogs, <laughs> alpha males, joking. Anyway, so you, it's better to wait to be asked to take a seat. In addition, sit squarely and maintain a good eye contact because it is essential. Providing you try to hide your eyes under <laughs> your eyebrows or when you are just being shy, it's not a very good idea. You should be relaxed, 
not too relaxed but not overconfident but still not shy by the way do not make too many notes because it will break the eye contact and it will not be a very good idea you might make a couple of notes it's okay it means that you are interested and you want to remember some basic information uh, but still just try to connect with the interviewers number five also it would be a very good idea to ask for a business card from each interviewer that would be just great and also write a quick thank you note to each and every one of them ASAP as soon as possible of course not in all companies all uh, staff members have a business card especially in small companies but if it's a big international company then you might be 100% sure that these people have their business cards and asking for one would be a good point number six maintain a high energy level speak with passion and energy and enthusiasm so that the interviewers would understand that you really want this job you want it badly number seven practice yeah in front of your mirror good day my name is Antonia good day my name is Antonia Remacher I'm an interpreter translator and English and German teacher I have a lot of teaching experience let me tell you step by step so firstly I taught at a university and so on so take a look at yourself see that you are confident or not so this way you might be able to see what your problems are you might also ask a friend or a family member to help you to listen to you and give you a couple of tips so practice that's important and by the way be there 10 minutes earlier so do not go there just two o'clock sharp exactly at that time no be a little bit earlier it will also demonstrate that you are interested and you are eager to get this job number eight don't rush into the interview like you are too eager being too eager is also not a very good idea you should be more or less relaxed energetic but not agitated so try to find your golden middle relaxed more or less confident enthusiastic number nine be careful about the first several seconds of the interview because the first impression means a lot it is the basic of the interview i understand that it's very important to fight back your nerves and your agitation but you need to so try to calm down and give a very good first impression and the last tip number 10 be a little bit egoistic after the interview I mean do not rush into a particular job if you have an opportunity to wait if you have a possibility to keep searching for a new job then just do not rush into getting a particular job if you're not sure if it's not actually for you if you do not feel passion if you do not feel passionate about this position then it might be not a very good idea to take it of course there might be a possibility of future growth but you should know all the opportunities you might get you should be well aware you should know what you are getting into and you should want that really because we spend like more than half our life at work and we need to like it we need to enjoy it because if you are enjoying what you're doing then you will get better you will succeed quicker and you will be really good at what you are doing at your job okay so that's it today I have given you 10 tips so try to follow them and good luck at your interview 
So as I have already pointed out during our next class devoted to a job interview, we're going to talk about some questions, basic questions, tricky questions, which might take you away from your comfort zone, which might make you feel confused, taken aback. So, but that's it for today. I hope that you found this class useful and you liked it. If you did, please press the button and like and share in different social networks and subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep studying English and Russian two languages. You can study just English or just Russian or both. It's up to you. So that's it. Hope to see you soon. Happy English and Russian practice. Bye bye. that a job interview is a two-way street. Number four would be wait to be asked, will you stop that?